Welcome back to the M Chamber 556 channel. Today we got another special guy. It's a limited release. The Full Earth. Old Nation, another one of those guys from the Old Nation. This is Double Pale Ale. We got a 9.1%, 50 IBUs. Okay, I got pills, wheat, dat, or wheat. Dat. Oh, it is dat, isn't it? Is it oat or is it dat? I can't. Oat. Okay, it says oat. Rice, boiled hops, Colum Columbus, Centennial. All oh, those are the hops. Okay. Cryo, cryo Laurel. Dry hops. There's a lot of freaking hops in these beers. I didn't even notice that. Simcoe, yada, 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 yada. We got 9.1%. Let's do this. These guys are good. They always are. Made here in Michigan. That's why I'm wearing my Michigan shirt. It's really stupid. But yeah. <laughs> it has some special direct. Oh, wait. It's got a special direction oh, on yeah. the side. I forgot about the roll boys. It's uh, a lot of sentiment in these beers. Look how it is very humid. And I'm, I'm in my basement. You do about it. Gotta get that sediment moving so you can keep so you can get it Roll out of the, the can. can for even sediment distribution. You don't drink these out of the can, guys. These are strictly glass. And if there's one glass that you guys should get, is just get a tulip glass. Look at that. Looks like I'm painting with it. Ready? It's the thing with these beers. There's not a lot of carbonation in them. They're thick. Thick. Thick boys. She thick brother. 16 ounce cans, gotta love the trend with 16 ounce cans. I love it. Yeah. So these bad boys are $18, $20 a uh, four pack. They're expensive. That's also a bad trend that's happening right now. <laughs> expensive beers. But when it's good beer, you will pay for it, right? The Full Earth. Not the greatest looking logo in the world. Uh, what is you it? What does it mean it. by Full Earth? What, what, what does Half Earth mean? I don't know. Turn the old nation. There's the sediment can roller thingy, if you can see it. Tells you what to do with it. That's really cool. I've never seen that on anything before. All their other cans have that on it, too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Which are sitting in my little rafters here. We got the Greenstone, Full Earth, Cart Horse, M43 Strawberry, Boss Tweed, and M43. Oh. Every single one of these beers are good. Uh, yeah, I haven't had a bad beer from them either. It smells amazing. But I've only had two? I've had the 43 Boss Tweed. Yeah, you haven't had the other ones. I've had two. Well, the strawberry, I had to buy it by the can. It was so uh, restricted, oh, I guess you'd say. That smells amazing. I immediately smell citrus out of it. Did you... Did... Did... did but... Oh, yeah. That's good. Sorry, I just wanted to drink it. Oh, that one's clean. Mm -hmm. I mean, out of the other ones, like the tweed... There's something in the tweed. I don't know if you guys drink these beers, but... It was stinging me in the back of the throat. Yeah, it's nippy. It's, it's good, but it stings you in the back of the throat. This is... This has uh, citrus hops in it, right? No, it doesn't. That is good. That is a full... Earth. <laughs> it's a full earth. It's all around the globe right there, boys. Haze is good, guys. It says on the can. Keep cold and drink fresh. That is a full earth packaged. Okay. Sometimes these cans have little special sayings on the bottom of them, and there's no way that you're trying to see through that. <laughs> yeah, it's, that it's, looks like orange juice. Where's the little light at? It's above the. Uh, no, right here. Oh, over here. It is literally probably probably the thickest beer I've ever. <laughs> little LED light. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Glowies. It's it, oh. it's like a little light almost. You want to see what it looks like from this side? Nothing. <laughs> Haze is good. You can see the bubbles. That's about it. Okay. This one's probably... This one's got to be up there with one of their best. 43 is a good drinker. Like, you can have a couple of those. These beers really, I mean, you can have a couple of them, but you're going to be, uh, you know? Yeah, you're going to be gone. They're 9%. They're, this is very easy to drink. It very. Have a, there's no sting in the back of your throat with this one either. Yeah. That is tangy. It's also orangey. very, it's, it's, it's a little bit orangey. It's not overpowering at all. You can definitely taste it, though. Um, it's, it's not got nippy. rice in it. Yeah. That's what gets the sweetness. And the oats. Oh, it's got oats in it, yeah. 
I'm just trying to figure if it says dat or oats. Dat. I swear we've had one that says dat out of dinner. Dat oat. Dat oat. There's a lot of hops in these. No wonder why they're so expensive. That's a bunch of different boys. One, two, three, four, it's five, always, six, it's always seven with, different kinds of hops. With these boys, it's a, it's a balance. Like, it's a perfect harmony, <clears throat> usually, with their yeah, beers. Yeah, there's really no carbonation, carbonation on them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which mm. means it's full to the can. Get your sediment, too. Don't forget your sediment. Your seddies. I should have got some green, greenstone too for you. Try that one. That's ah. just that's just a regular IPA. It's not a double IPA. Mm. And this one is this is double, double yeah. New so they, they stop making the tweed and they start making this one. So this they they do half year I guess so half year of the tweed, half year with this. Okay. A lot of people were pissed because the tweed was gone because a lot of people love that beer. That's good though. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if I, I think had this one can. This one can be in competition for one of the best beers out there. Yeah, this is really good. Mm -mm -mm. If you're new to the channel and um, you don't know this, we are IPA lovers. We are also Belgian lovers. <laughs> we love all kinds of beer. We love all kinds it of beer. It doesn't really beer. matter. I mean, we the berry wise. I mean, we, we review anything. Yeah, if it's a beer, we'll review it. <laughs> um, but we primarily have loves, um, well, at least for me, for loves. IPAs and uh, yeah, Belgians. IPAs have turned the corner and been better lately. Mm -hmm. I mean, and this, this, regular this doesn't IPA. even taste like an IPA. This tastes like orange juice. It tastes like a mixed drink almost. Yeah. Well, no, the orange juice is probably the boss. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. It's a it's a very full beer. I mean, you could definitely tell it's a beer, but it's what do you call it? Like I said, it's harmonious. Like uh, everything that's in it works well with what it is. Uh, it's slightly acidic. It's got here's orange. the one that, that is the one that hard to find. It's from 43 Strawberry. You got our staple. Let me get down here. <laughs> this is a staple in Michigan because you can actually find that one probably more than anywhere. This is the Tweed. Look at the cans. I mean, come on. Yeah. Card horse. That one had a stinginess to it. It was okay. I'm, I'm just like, probably like a seven. You got this Greenstone. <laughs> Greenstone. And Greenstone then, is a regular American pile. Yeah, the ones that I've had is this one. Five and a half percent. I haven't had the strawberry. That's full earth. Do you smell anything on that? No. Damn, that sucks. And then this one. I've this, had the Boss Tweed and then the M43. I'm not one for flavored beers, but I, I sure shit, guys, this this beer was amazing. Which one? This, this strawberry. Mm. It tasted like a... Uh, what is those ice cream bars with the, the strawberry... Strawberry. Uh, the crumbles? Yeah, what is that? I don't know what you're... I know... I, they're like the crumble bits, of, like, uh, popsicles. No, they're, they're mm. like, uh, uh... Not popsicles. Strawberry shortcake. Creamsicles. Strawberry, strawberry shortcake. shortcake, creamsicle, or something like strawberry that. Strawberry yeah. shortcakes. The, the, it tasted like that. Yeah. It was like amazing. It the, I really want one now. They're creamy... Yeah, you want this. Yeah. You can drink a whole four-pack of these guys. And they're 7%. 6.8. 6. I mean, I think it's the same as the 43. Where's the 43 at? 43 is right here. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same beer, basically. They just put strawberry instead of orange. Oh, that sounds good. Huh? That sounds good. And the thing is, like with IPAs, like doing citrus is probably like the best. The, it's the the middle ground way to go. Yeah. Because citrus always works well with an IPA. So and I mean, I, I think they Old Nation has done a really good job in putting citrus in there. Yeah, IPAs. This company is like beating everybody's ass right now. <laughs> I mean, they don't have the cans that pop. I guess you'd say like mm -hmm. Treehouse, but. I don't know. I, I bet you these could go toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe on those ones, which I have paid for, actually. <laughs> oh, you have them? Oh, yeah, those ones. I mean, I mean it's, I'm not lying here. It's not like I haven't tried these ones, you know? You got the Julius and you got the Hayes. Check his Instagram out, by the way. Yeah, check that out. I got this Empty Chamber 556. And my dog, Charlie the Cheese. She's right here. <laughs> you want to come up here? Come on. Come here. Come on, Charlie. She ain't gonna come up here. Whatever. And, uh... So, anyways, yeah, we're talking a lot here. Very full beer. Sorry, we're this talking. Is, this... Beer, we're talking because it's a good beer. It's good, yeah. You, you know, it's good when we start getting talking. Um, very full, very rich, actually. Yeah, we're gonna do a review with it. this. I mean, this is not a downing beer. I'm not gonna down it on camera. Yeah. But you know, let me drink some more of it. Then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a downing beer, though. No, it'll get you. Not nippy. Mm -mm. At all. It's got a very clean finish. Very, very smooth. Like, it's, um, it's kind of something you could pair with a lot. 
Like literally, <laughs> give me a steak. I'll eat, I'll drink that with this. Yeah, it's like a wine almost. Almost like a wine beer. Like I mean, it doesn't taste like wine. It does not taste it's like, like wine, a thick, but... thick beer that you're not gonna just down. Just down, yeah. You just enjoy this one. Or it's like a a nice scotch sitting on the porch drinking a beer. Yeah. It's yeah. Um, very good. Check these guys out. Buy them on eBay if you can't find them in your state. <laughs> buy them on eBay. You can literally buy beer on eBay. Can you really? Yes, that's how I bought those treehouse ones. <laughs> I did not even know you could do that. Yeah, so uh, try them out, guys. Yeah, they don't have the catchiest of uh, no, labels, but, but if you but can find them, try they're them. They're good. They're good boys. And right. every single, all three of the ones that I've tried have been good. I can tell you all these are good. Yeah. Every single one of them are good. I mean, he, he's, he's the connoisseur of old nation. I'm the, I'm the beer hunter, I guess. All right, let me, let me <laughs> sip you one more time. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I, I got my rating. Three, two, one, nine. nine. Boom. Hey. You know what? We don't really have these many beers where it's like this, so. Come on. <laughs> That's not going to work <laughs> on me, is it? Nope, it's not going to work. What the hell? Oh, come on. You got it. Oh. Do and it. Nope, nope. That's not working. Oh. There we go. Ah. Let me just turn this off. <laughs> There you go. Nine. There you go. It's a nine, guys. A nine boy. That's really good. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. Party time. Leave it on. Like, comment, subscribe, share this channel. Follow me on Instagram. Go to Tommy the Thompson on uh, Twitch. He's on there all the time. What, Tommy the Thompson 45. Wednesday streaming. through Sunday, basically. <laughs> so, we'll see you guys in the next review. Have a good night. Oh, let me just outro with the... The cans. Ooh. There's some, some canny boys right there.